Yes? I'd like to speak to Mr. Keeping, please. I'm sorry, you made a mistake. There's no one but me. A uh, parking fine was paid by Mr. Graham Keeping of this address. Well, well it's a business now. Yes, I've got a query about that. May I come in, please? It's something to do with that fine, darling. Yes, and if you're not Mr. Keeping, you are... Graham Lawrence. Graham Lawrence. And this young lady? My wife. Why? No. Suzanne Fermel, I think. Uh, John Ryder. You've got no right uh, to come back. Your father asked me to talk to you. I suppose we're here to try and force me to go back. Well, I... I think that might be rather difficult if you were married to Mr. Keeping. She is. According to Somerset House, Mr. Graham Lawrence Keeping was married 15 years ago to a lady called Elaine Granger, and there is no record of any subsequent divorce. Yeah, this is very good. This a hobby? No, I sell it. Where? Bayswater Road. Look, what the yeah, hell are oh, you on doing? Sundays, yes. There were two children of that marriage, two girls. Did you think I didn't know about Graham's wife and children? Well, some men do like to keep certain things to themselves. Not Graham. I know how hard it's been for him, and I know exactly how much he's given up for me, Mr. Grander. Yeah, well, it looks to me as though you've given up quite a lot yourself. Me? Do you know my father? In his own way, he seems to be very fond of you. It's a way I don't understand. All I can say is that he wants you back very badly. As Graham's wife? You're not Graham's wife. At first, Elaine was difficult by the divorce, but now she's agreed. Yeah. Ah, so you, uh, you... Could say you're engaged. Yes. Oh, well, that's good. That's good, because if the immigration people should trace you, you're in breach of the regulations, you know. You haven't got a residence permit. Are you threatening to tell them? Oh, no. No. But if they should happen to find you, the fact that you intend to get married after the divorce would carry some weight. They might even be persuaded to let you stay. Then we're all right. Uh, no, I wouldn't bank on it. Not unless you've actually made arrangements. My wife has accepted the idea now. Oh, you've seen her then? We talk on the phone. Are you two met in Saint-Tropez? Were you on holiday there? No, I was an executive of the travel firm. I didn't exactly have time to ask for leave of absence. We had to keep moving on. I knew my father would send men after us. We lost them when we crossed to Sweden. When I got back to England, I'd been fired. Well, I've always enjoyed doing that. I don't mind driving. I do actually maintain my wife and children. We manage. Yeah, well, your welfare is no concern of mine. All I can try to do is persuade you. That's all. But you know, there are difficulties about this, um, this relationship which have not been resolved yet. They will be. We just need a little more time, that's all. I know that, darling. I like the truth at all times, Mr. Ryder. My father lives in a world where nothing is ever quite what it seems. I began to detest that long before I met Graham. Persuade me. You can't. I'll be back at the usual time, about six. Do you have to go? We need the money. We must get away from here. I'll be packed by the time you get back. Ryder promised that he wouldn't tell your father where you are or the police. We can't risk it. It's easy for us to move. We only have our clothes. Where? I don't care. A hotel anywhere. You'll go and find somewhere when you get home. Look, I must go. I'll lose my pitch. Does he know where I am? So far, I've managed to stop him following me. He tried again today, but I lost him. You packing? Please, Mr. Ryder, leave us alone. Do you ever go with Graham on Sundays or uh, pop out to the Bayswater Road to see him? No. Has he asked you not to go? No. Why'd you ask that? Sitting in his 
car. Yes, well, let's have a look around, shall we? Yes. Once I said I would bring him some lunch, he said no. A lot of foreigners come here. Some are French and I might be recognized. But his work is here. A lot of them has been sold. The boy with the paintings at the next pitch sold them. Same as he does every week. But where does he go? Before I picked you up, I drove out here. How did you know where to come? This car is registered at this address. Alison! Elizabeth! Tea's ready! I'm Suzanne Fairmore. He's told me about you. Tell me one thing. Is there going to be a divorce? I want him to come back home for good. We agreed to wait and see what happened. We've been married a long time. I couldn't finish it just like... Suzanne? to see the children. Thank you, Mr. Ryder. Officer Lair will take you to the object of your interest. Uh, I, I might run into difficulties at the airport. I think I'd rather when it went back... Um, the same way it came out. Tomorrow. I thought I could love it. 